Inside the TV, a really popular idol is currently making some handmade food on a cooking show. She was just cooking, but she had such a bright aura around her. So many people became happy just by watching her smile. She was just like a star in the night sky. Everyone knew that they couldn't reach her, but they still fell in love with her. Hey, Katsuya, where's the salt? I'll just make it if you like. No, it's fine. Let me do something like a girlfriend once in a while. You must be really tired, though. <laughs> I completely recovered once I saw your face. It's inside the second row of the cupboard. What is? The salt. Oh, okay, okay. It's almost done, so just wait a little longer. Inside my small apartment room, my girlfriend is trying to cook me some handmade food. Make sure you look forward to it. My cooking skills have improved again because of that show. Yeah, I can't wait to eat. I actually won the cooking competition on that TV show, too. Don't spoil it for me. It hasn't aired yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, so those TV shows aren't scripted? Well, some of them are scripted. So they are. However, this current TV show isn't scripted at all. It's an actual competition. Okay, all done. I'll bring it over. As she said those words, she brought over the same dish as the one that the really popular idol was making on TV. So eat it while it's warm. The idol inside the TV and my girlfriend had the same face and same voice. Inagi, Tomomi, and I were childhood friends. <laughs> I don't remember when we first met. Whenever I opened up one of my old albums, she was always by my side. Once we entered middle school and everyone started to worry about dating, our relationship naturally bloomed and we became a couple. Tomomi decided that she would become an idol in the last year of high school. I am begging you, Tomomi. Please rescue our agency. You're our only hope. Tomomi's aunt begged Tomomi for help. She owned a small talent agency. However, her agency was on the verge of going bankrupt. That's why she came to Tomomi for help. Tomomi was very beautiful, but that wasn't it. She also had this natural aura that drew people in. She was born to become a superstar. Tomomi's aunt had wanted to debut Tomomi as an idol for a very long time. Tomomi had kept on saying no. However, she was unable to say no this time, as she knew the situation her aunt's agency was in. It was clear that her aunt hadn't slept well in a while. She looked absolutely drained. However, Tomomi decided to make two requests in return for becoming an idol. I have two conditions. Is it about the pay? Not at all, I don't care about that stuff. The first condition is that I'm only going to become an idol for your agency until you manage to get your agency back on track. Once the agency stabilizes, I'm going to quit right there. Okay. My second request... What is it? I'm going to do something that is very forbidden for idols to do. Her second condition was that she wouldn't break up with me when she became an idol. It was delicious. Really? I wouldn't lie about something like this. Also, all of the judges on the show were in love with this dish that you made, remember? Yeah, I know that, but... It's pointless if you don't like it. You really are... What is it? So cute, aren't you? Right? I completely agree. Right, now that we're full... Yeah. Can I cuddle with you? Yeah, come here. Yay! You really do like cuddling, don't you? You're just like a dog. I only like cuddling with you. Aw, it's your smell. So calming. I'm kind of embarrassed. Why? I love this smell so much. Come here. I embraced her, and we stayed like that for a while. She stuck to me like glue. Her body warmed up, and her eyes started to shut. 
Your body is so warm. It's so comforting. I'm glad to hear that. Hey, Katsuya. What is it? I love you. Yeah, I know that. I love you too. <laughs> Thanks. I'm sorry, though. Why are you apologizing? We can't go on dates outside because of me. We're basically on a date right now. At least, that's what it feels like to me. Do you not feel the same way? Well, it does feel like a date, but... Recently, Tomomi had gone to a lot of popular and famous dating spots as part of some TV shows. Lots of theme parks and tasty-looking sweets. She smiled and played with her idol friends at those locations. Not a single guy appeared on these shows. Apparently, it's terrible for an idol's reputation these days to be seen with men. That place was so fun! Oh, I see. I actually wanted to go with you, though. Let's go one day. It won't be popular by that time. Well, if it's not popular, then we get the place to ourselves. We should consider ourselves lucky. I like that you're so positive about everything. So anyway, you don't need to worry about any of this stuff. It's a decision that I made. We won't be seen in public together while you're an idol. In my room, there wasn't a single photo of the two of us. She doesn't leave any of her belongings here either. Whenever she comes over, I make her bring over everything she needs to stay the night every time. I also haven't bought any of her idol goods. We also haven't gone on any dates outside for the past few years. We've decided that the only time we meet is when she has some time off work. We only meet in my room. To be completely honest, her idol activities and her aunt's agency didn't really matter to me that much. What was important to me was that she wasn't hurt by the public. I didn't want to see her cry either. As her boyfriend, I just wanted to protect her and her reputation. I wanted her to finish her idol activities without any scandals. Yeah, I know that. I'm also really grateful for you being so patient, but... What are you so unhappy about? Couldn't you come to at least one of my live events? No. Why? Well, you never know who might leak information about us. Nobody knows about us. Whenever you see me, you're probably going to smirk or grin. Well, yeah, but... That could give it away, right? Uh, still... There's no way I'm coming. Damn it, you're so serious. Tough luck. Well, I like this about you too, though. All right, let's play some games then. Yeah, let's do that. I'm definitely going to win today. That's definitely not going to be possible. I've practiced so much after all. Not fair. We were both adults now. However, we still did the same things back when we were dating in middle school. This situation is a little sad, and it can feel a little disappointing at times. However, what I can say for sure is that spending time with her is very fun. One day, it was late at night. My doorbell rang, so I opened the door, and my cousin, who's two years older than me, was standing outside. Hey, Katsuya! Hey, Ayaka! How have you been doing? Pretty good. That's good to hear. <laughs> you stink! Really? You must have drunk so much! You reek of alcohol! Don't come near me! Hey, that's so offensive! I'm gonna cry! I'm so hurt. So what are you here for? So you're not gonna play along then? You already know why I'm here, right? I have no idea. Please let me stay the night. No way. I cut off our conversation and closed the door. She kept on knocking the door after I had closed it. Hey, stop! It's late at night, you know? You're being so loud! Then let me stay here. I'll sleep on the sofa. Please, please! Go home! There are no more trains. I can't go home. Get a taxi then. I don't have money. 
Go book a hotel then. I don't have money like I just said. Uh, I'll lend you money then. Then I'd have to give it back to you, so no. You're being so difficult. So are you gonna leave a drunk young woman like me on the streets this late at night? What are you gonna do if some man attacks me? You're the worst. Fine. Just this once then. Yay! This decision was a huge mistake. The next morning, I woke up to the sound of someone screaming. What is it? You're so noisy. Huh? Tomomi? Why are you here? Tomomi was the one who was screaming. Wait, hold on. Tomomi? The popular idol? Why is she here? Katsuya? So you were cheating on me? That's why you didn't want me leaving any of my belongings here? Whoa, whoa, whoa hold on! It's not like that at all! What's going on, Katsuya? Why is she here? You traitor! I'm gonna break up with you. I never want to see you again. Goodbye! Please, would you just listen to what I have to say? Hey, I'm actually a huge fan of you. You're so cute. Your face is so small. Oh, your eyelashes are pretty too. Ayaka, please shut up! Hm. So she's called Ayaka then? She's older than you? How long have you guys known each other for? Huh? Known Katsuya? I've known him since he was born. What? Tomomi, you need to calm down too. It was complete chaos, and the morning had only just began. A few minutes later, I begged Tomomi to let me explain the situation to her. She's my cousin, Ayaka. Last night, she suddenly came to my room really drunk. She's a huge nuisance. Your cousin? Really? Ayaka, could you show her your ID? I can't be bothered. Just do as I say. This is all your fault. Uh, don't glare at me like that. I'm hungover. Here you go. Oh, yeah. You guys have the same surname. She finally believed me and calmed down. Her devil-like aura had disappeared too, and we all started to calm down. And Ayaka, she is... My name is Anaki Tomomi, and I'm his girlfriend. Why are you smiling like that all of a sudden? Well, she might become my relative in the future. It's important to make a good impression. Oh, I see. She's thinking about that far into the future already. You're the famous idol Tomomi, right? Yeah, I am. But when I'm here, I'm just my usual self, the regular Tomomi. I see. Oh, it's so nice to meet you, Tomomi. It's nice to meet you, too. You can just call me Ayaka, by the way. Okay, Ayaka. Oh, you're just so cute. Ayaka fell in love with Tomomi as soon as she used her idol smile. Anyway, Ayaka. Yeah, I know. You want me to keep quiet about you guys, right? I'm glad you understand. Tomomi hasn't had a single scandal ever since she debuted, right? I realize just how careful you guys have been. I can see how important this is to you guys. When you're not drunk, you're very smart and a good person. Also, I'm really happy that my favorite idol has a happy private life, too. I guess I'll get going then. You're leaving already? Yeah, you guys probably don't get to see each other much. I don't want to get in the way. Thank you so much. Also, this is kind of cheating, too. <laughs> I am a huge fan of you. I'm going to come see you at a live event, just like everyone else is doing. I'll see you again. She said her farewells and left immediately. She's a really cool person. When she's not drunk, at least. Also, Katsuya? What is it? I'm sorry for accusing you like that. It's no problem at all. I can see why you'd think that way in that situation. Anyway, why did you come here so early in the morning today? Oh, you've forgotten? What? 
my life tour is starting from this afternoon, so I won't be able to see you for a while. Well, I remember that. So I came here to get some Katsuya energy. What's that? There's this special form of energy that I can only gain from you. I see. Do as you like, then. Yeah, I'll do as I like. Um, Katsuya? What is it? If you're ever gonna let a girl stay over again, I kinda want you to contact me about it first. Well... I'll delete the message as soon as I see it. I'll make sure that nobody finds out about us. Still... Are you gonna say no? Okay, fine then. I'm sorry if I'm being overprotective. I just don't have much confidence is all. Why? Well, we can't even go on a normal date. I'm scared that you're gonna get bored of a girl like me. I wouldn't blame you either. I won't get bored of you. There's no way that's possible. I know that, but I get anxious. What can I do then? Huh? What can I do to reduce your anxiety? Could I ask you a favor then? If it's something that I'm able to do, then sure. I want you to come and see my live performance, just once. Well... Yeah, I know, I know, but I just want you to come once. I want you to see me shining on stage. I'll make you fall for me again. I already love you so much, though. I just want to make you fall for me even more, so that you won't go to anyone else. I realized that she probably wasn't going to change her mind at this point. She didn't need to do something like this, and she was the only woman I'd ever love. However, I realized that she wasn't looking for words or comfort. Okay then, I'll come watch. Really? I'll watch from far away though. Yeah, that's fine. I'll find you no matter what. A while later, I managed to get a ticket for her live event with my own powers. I didn't want to cheat and ask her for a ticket. I also didn't want her to know which live event I was going to attend. My first ever live event felt like a huge festival, and it felt so great just being there. Thanks for coming, everyone! Everyone around me started shouting as soon as Tomomi started talking. Everyone was captivated by Tomomi. Then the live began. It was breathtaking. The Tomomi singing on stage was completely different from the girl I knew. Every time she sang, it felt like an angel was singing. Every time she took a step, it looked like a trail of stars were following her around. When she waved her hand at the crowd, she created rainbows across the stage. She was so much brighter than the sun, and her presence filled the entire stadium. At the very center of all of this, a girl sang and danced as she shone like a star. That girl was my girlfriend. The girl was my childhood friend, Inagi Tomomi. I completely fell for her all over again, just like she said. I couldn't see anybody else. I wanted to just keep on watching her. I didn't even want to blink, as I didn't want to miss out on any of her actions. Then all of a sudden, we briefly made eye contact with each other. It was less than a second. She smirked a little and winked at me. She then continued to sing like nothing had happened. She just winked at me! No, she winked at me! Ririet! Ririet at me! I was thinking the same thing as them all. At that moment, I had fallen in love with her again. A few days later, at my apartment room like usual, Good job completing your live tour. Thanks for keeping our promise, Katsuya. So you really did find me. I told you that I'd be able to find you no matter where you were. So, how was it? It was amazing. I fell in love. What? With who? You, of course. What do you mean by that? Does that mean you didn't love me? That's not what I meant. I just fell even more in love with you. Oh, I see. Well, that's fine then. However, I've decided that I'm not coming to any more of your live events. Why? 
I won't be able to hold myself back anymore. What do you mean? All the guys around me were saying that you winked at them. Then they started arguing about who you had winked at. Your wink was aimed at me. You're meant to be completely mine. I won't be able to hold back all of my jealous feelings. Jealousy is a bad emotion for me to have if we're going to continue to date in secret. Yeah. You're able to be a popular idol as so many people support you. Yeah, that's true. So that's why the idol Tomomi belongs to everyone. She can't just be mine. It's just like Ayaka said. So we're going to continue having all our dates in this room. And we shouldn't contact each other unless it's really necessary. Okay. Don't look so upset. It's tough for me, too. Yeah, I know, but... I won't be coming to any more of your live events. But... Okay, I get it. Please stop repeating it. It hurts to hear it. Once your final live event is done... The final event? My tour just finished. No. I mean your final live event as an idol. Once you finish your last live, once you go back to being my childhood friend, Inagi Tomomi, I'll come and pick you up myself. Really? Yeah. So don't worry about anything else for now. Just do your best and become a superstar. All right, I'm gonna do my best from tomorrow again. Yeah, that's more like it. Wait, but before that, I need to fill up on some Katsuya energy. Yeah, yeah. Ah, <sighs> this is so relaxing. I wish that I could have access to this all the time. I then embraced the love of my life, not an idol. Right now, she's just my childhood friend and my girlfriend. I embraced her very tightly.